at Xena Warthog Princess and welcome to another haul day. I say haul day because I literally just walked in the door from the airport returning from my trip and I had packages waiting. There's some Jujube and Vera and Vlog, so always good, fun returning presents to myself. And um, I, I think I know what everything is, but let's open them together. So this first one, I, I did open the bag, but I didn't open the stuff because I am expecting a package for Vera that is a tester for the recycled cup. And I can't share that, so I had to make sure that it wasn't that. It's not, so we can share it. Okay, so we have a New Hope Girls. This is a Vera Bradley collaboration, and on the back it has some info. It's our privilege to work with girls and women in the Dominican Republic for the purpose of seeing their identity restored as they step into who they were created to be. We have both a safe house for girls and a workshop for women. Our heart, and our heart for transformation and healing is foundational to the work we do each day. Visit newhopegirls.com to shop, learn more of their story, and discover ways you can partner with them and join their mission. Okay, so Vera Bradley has done, I think it's three different collaborations annual with them. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think it was three. But I just discovered for the first time this year, because um, Vera only does a couple of select items in their pattern. And they do like a sling, a crossbody bag that you can wear as a shoulder bag, but it's like a tie up hobo style. And they do like a cosmetic type bag. And this year I saw everybody with these like mini cosmetics. I, I, where did they get that from? Cause it's in the Vera pattern and it's not on Vera. Well, duh. I just went to the New Hope Girls website and found not only that and other Vera items, including previous Vera items, a couple of things that hadn't sold out, but also a whole bunch of other items. So if you like the New Hope Girls, you can support them directly. You don't even have to wait for a Vera collaboration. Just say So. For what that's worth, there you go. I just feel like I was really dense on the uptake and didn't figure that out sooner. But I did order one thing because everything else I wanted was sold out, but that's what I get for being slow uh, and or spending everything before it was available. <laughs> All right, so I did just get one of the medium, or um, sorry, not medium, the mini case. And actually, I think that for me, this is the better piece anyways. So I'm really glad that some of my fellow Veraholics like Elisa, Vera Bradley Bag of the Day, figured that out and um, indirectly guided me there. And okay, so this says, about the artisan, before becoming an artisan in our workshop, Mella had no previous sewing experience. She dedicated herself to the craft and now she is able to provide for her family with honor. She dreams that those still waiting for their rescue will receive the same freedom she has experienced in her own life. That's nice. I missed you too. Mwah. I missed you. I missed you so much. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Um, and that has a little picture with a signature. I, I assume that she made this bag, but that could be wrong. I mean, maybe she's just an artisan, not the artisan. But, and then it talks about the, the stuff. But it doesn't have a Vera Bradley tag on it as at all, actually. But it has the, the leather tag on here that says New Hope Girls and Vera Bradley. So that's interesting that it doesn't also have a Vera Bradley tag. I don't care that it doesn't because it's not like I need a tag. But this is a, like a canvas style, or not a canvas. It's a, it's a woven material and um, like, a thick linen type thing. It is lined also with a solid colored like navy and it's also that same like linen canvas. It's, it's thick material. It seems very robust and it's a great size. I mean for me this is a better size, more practical and will definitely get more use. So I'm really looking forward to Vera bringing out more of these styles of patterns. This I think matches the uh, what is it called? Rainforest Canopy Birdies or something like that. Anyway, we'll see. So, enough about that. This is also Vera, but this is a Vera Bradley outlet haul. So, if you've watched my videos before from there, you know that you can do phone orders, 
And for the most part, if you're over $75, they will ship for free, which is great to know. Um, it just so happened that a friend of mine, hey Lexi, she was out in Indiana shopping at her Vera Bradley outlet with her mom and her new beautiful baby boy. And she called me up and said, hey, do you want anything? <laughs> I always want something. But so she actually video shopped with me real quick and we were just zooming around getting a bunch of stuff. And then I checked out directly with the lady at the desk. So Lexi didn't even have to be the middleman, but thank you again, Lexi, for taking care of me from afar. All right, so I got to do some outlet shopping, even though my outlet is more than two hours away. But I did, I did make great efforts to contain myself. So as you can see, it's just a small haul. And it was when the sale was 70% off, plus I had a military 15, so there you go. So the first item I got is the wristlet keychain in Blue Island Medallions. You will see a theme because it's all Blue Island Medallions. This is the newest pattern that I hadn't gotten to see in person, but I fell in love with at first sight from afar on the pictures and whatnot. But I just love the blues and teals, and it has some like lighter, like almost like a minty as well, but beautiful. The inside is a seatbelt strap, like nylon layer, so you have the cotton on the outside and the nylon inside. It's fine, but I like the factory style ones because, well, at least the last version of the retail side one didn't have a big enough loop. So these ones I can put over my wrist, which is good if I want to be hands-free, I just put it on my wrist. Like when I'm hooking the camper up or something, I need to just be hands-free, but I need my keys handy and I might not be wearing pockets. So there you go. That has a ring and a hook on it. All right. And I also got the ballpoint pen. This is a twist style. This is all, like I said, factory style stuff. Let's see. And you can see it's uh, floral medallions. It does kind of, no, I won't say that. I was gonna say it kind of reminds me a little bit of mimosa medallion, but really it doesn't because it's this is much more geometric more obviously geometric, let's say. So this is the large notebook. You can see the pretty blues with the floral medallions in there. And this has, uh, well, this says it's coastal paradise. I don't, what does this one say? Blue Island medallion. So coastal paradise must be the interior for Blue Island medallion, that's my guess. Or, or it could have been the production name or pre-production name. I really don't know because the mini notebook with pocket, uh, or it doesn't say with pocket, just the mini notebook is Blue Island Medallion and a large one, which is exactly the same, is called Coastal Paradise. So either it's mismarked or there was a name change because one of these is not right. But all right, back to what we were talking about. So 160 pages in each, both are college ruled and I think don't know if these ones have a pocket. I think they do probably, but I'm not gonna take the plastic off until I use them, so probably is good enough. All right, and then I got a Lighten Up Compact Organizer in the same pattern. And this one just has a navy interior with the Diamond Bear Bradley print on the um, nylon. This is a, it is one of, you know, cause the variances on the Lighten Up material, this is um, sort of softer. Um, more cottony feel or more fabricy feel to it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, there's just variances. Some are stiffer, some are looser. But inside the main batch, this is not um, plastic lined. Two slip pockets and a zipper mesh pocket. And then this part has a nice good size to it. It's a like triangular shape, big at the bottom, small at the top. Kind of like the factory style pencil pouch or um, whatever you call that one. I use it for pencils, but I think you can use it for anything. And then this does have a loop on the side. It doesn't have a ring on it or anything. It's just a nylon uh, seatbelt type thing, but you can hook other things onto it. Like you could put a wristlet strap on it and use it like that. You can do a lot of different things. Um, oh, this is something new. This is the RFID small bifold wallet in the same pattern. So this wallet is interesting. It's a little bigger than a Zip ID, but not crazy big. So it's a slim wallet option. Um, to me, this would be in between the Zip ID and the Passport wallet. So 
it gives you an, another option for your small bags, which is great. So it has a zip closure. It is just a bifold, so it opens up like a book, and the two snaps there snap together. Inside, though, you have a vertical slip here, and then you have down the front four card slots, and it is RFID, like I said. And then on this side, you have a big slip behind, and then you have a zipper pocket right in front of it. So there you can see the slip behind and the zipper pocket in front of it. And it has this, it's not a zip ID, but it has this little chain that's connected up here and it has a clip on there. So you can clip it onto things or clip your keys onto it or whatever. And you can leave it hanging out like that, or you can flip it inside if you're not using it and just still have it available. If you're carrying just like one key, you could even clip it on and put the key inside there. Okay, and the last item, oh, all my receipts. What did I pay? Mm -hmm. Lighten up, lighten up, large mini. Yeah, that large one, it says on there the same name, I don't know. Um, okay, but anyways, this is the Lighten Up Essential Compact Backpack. I, a couple years ago, I had bought a few of these all at once and I had bought them by phone order uh, directly with my outlet and they were actually too small for me, but I've, you know, I've slowed down and hi Kelly, and you're very, very helpful today. Um, so let's see how this one fits because I think these are great purse backpacks. I like the configuration a lot. They have a little bit more organization than the um, small backpacks, but it's like just such a great size. It's bigger than the Jujube Petite, smaller than the Midi, smaller than the Mini B. It's a little bit smaller than the small backpack, but it's bigger than the Lug Mini Orbit. So hopefully that kind of helps frame where it fits. Um, another day down the road, we'll sit down and do a, um, a review of backpacks again. I have done that in the past, but I've acquired a lot more brands and styles since then. So we'll keep revisiting things as needed along the way, but this gives you a good look at the colors. Again, it's that softer lighten up, so it's not crispy crunchy. It's very pliable and actually kind of soft. I won't say cottony feel, but more cottony than normal, if that makes sense. So front has a zipper pocket just straight across. It does have the rubber zipper pulls outlet lighten up standard. The second pocket is bigger. It does have its own gusset, which you can kind of see where this seam is right here. So it's one and a half fingers thick, but it has some bulgeability to it. So you could actually fit a lot of things in there. And uh, I know in one of these boxes is some set pieces and stuff. So we might be able to try how those fit in here in a minute. Um, there are no other pockets on the outside as far as zippers or anything, but there are two cargo pockets on the side. And this one on the one side has an extra zipper expansion. And it's not elastic, but it does give you some nylon fabric to expand that pocket, make it a little bigger. I think the expansion is required to fit a water bottle because this, well, it might fit a small water bottle, but I don't know. So anyway, okay. But inside the main pocket, it is a double zipper, which I like. And there's um, two slip pockets on the back right here. And they go about, you know, they're kind of the middle third of the bag. They don't go all the way down, but they go down to right there. And then the bottom of the bag, you can see the base of it. I mean, it has a pretty good capacity. It's one of those tiny but mighty kind of bags there. So, But because of the material and the way that it's constructed, um, it actually is very, very light, very light. So last thing, um, the straps are padded. They have a plastic fitting, but they adjust in and out. And it has a top carry handle, which is also padded there, let's see. All right, so I definitely can wear it easier than before. And I mean, I could put it on before too, but here's the thing about this bag. Because of the way it's constructed and how short the straps are, it sits pretty high up on my back, which is a little better now than it was, I admit. But I don't know, I like it to sit just a little bit lower. Like if the straps were like two inches longer, I, it, would be, it would be better for me. Plus then it's easier to get off. <laughs> Anyways, 
There you go. Oh, I need this pen out of the way. So that's it for that part of the haul. Hi, baby. Oh, you can't get enough of this. Superstar. Superstar. Aww. Yes. Yes. She, has, she was in good company. Her best friend was over for the weekend. You miss her already? Okay, go ahead. All right. So, lug. Uh... And I'm curious because there was an item that was missing from my previous order, but this seems kind of heavy to be just that item. So the item, by the way, is the quick step. And I think it was in Heather Gray. I can't remember now. I'd have to go back and look at my, I didn't even look. I just grabbed all the boxes and stuff down. I mean, I haven't even unpacked, but I figure if I'm unpacking, I might as well unpack everything. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I can't wait. All right, because some of this stuff has been a long time coming. All right, this is a pretty box. By the way, look at the pattern there. I don't know how well you can see. I don't want to show you the top of it because it has my address all over it. But let me pull this sticker off, maybe. Anyways, what I'm not showing you <laughs> is it looks like a lily pattern. So. You have like on the sides and on the bottom, you have what looks like a lily pink or a lily orchid perhaps. It's a, kind of a bolder than orchid pink, but maybe kind of like bold orchid pink, maybe. Um, and then on this top part, it looks like a lily mint. So if history is an indication, um, maybe they're getting ready to come out with some more recolorations of the lily pattern. See that? Um, and then here's another, you've got great taste, snap and share, look life. So there's some more of the Lily Mint looking pattern. Now, that's just me guessing. I don't have any knowledge at all whatsoever. Ooh, but what I do have is a free notepad and this one's different than the ones I had. Okay, so I've got a little folded up. Wild to-do list, loglife.com, and it has that animal print. Aww, the toucan and the monkeys. So fun. Okay, cool. And lots of pages. Okay. And there's something else in here, too. <laughs> More pencils! All right. Ooh! But these are new. Okay, what is this? Medley edition. I don't think I have that edition before. Let's see. It has... Oh, the lighting's not so good. This one looks almost just black, but there's something on it. What is this? Oh, it's shibori purple, but it's like a stripe down the side. And then we have the, oh no, I've forgotten the name. The other new purple floral pattern. So the two purples, so shibori purple, and then that other purple with the floral, and then the animal print, dark and light, and that looks like bloom navy and pink camo or camo blush or whatever that one's called. Yeah, so good. I don't have any of those. And I love Frista. More pencils. Okay. All the cards. And it is my quick step. Yay! So that's cool. It finally got here. All right. And I will just throw this in the box. Dun, dun, dun. So let's look at the quick step. Because this is my first one. And I got Heather Gray because I have a lot of Heather Gray. And I figured it's kind of a neutral thing. So it would go with a lot more things. And there you go. Okay, so first impressions. It is regular Heather Gray. It's lug. It has the basket weave or whatever you call this um, quilting on it. It feels thinner down here and wider out here. Um, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see. You can kind of see how it kind of does this. You know as it goes that way um, I don't know if that's because of what's in it or if that's just the capacity of it on the back you have a giant clear view it is a gusseted pocket on this side you have your main pocket and then you have a separate divider with the big clear view in front of it so if I take this out it just shows through to the gray well, I don't know why that's in there but I'm gonna put it back in there until I use it not like plastic on plastic, but okay. So that's the back zipper pocket. It has a cloth tab zipper pull on there on top of the 
regular love gum little gray thing. So here's the loops where you connect the crossbody shoulder strap, which I assume is inside. And they can, it doesn't look like there's anywhere for them to tuck in. They just kind of hang out when you're not using it that way. And that is fine. It has lug life, no, live life in color is what that says around the button. Live life on top in color on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, so that's the outside. It's two compartments. One and two. Let's open this one first. Okay, so there's the wristlet strap. It is removable, so there you go. And it's on this side, which... Hmm. Yeah, it's still backwards. Dang it! Do it the other way. I don't know why it's always backwards. Not always, because some of their wallets are the other way. But okay, let's look at this anyways. We got um, a big slip here, so it could be your cash drawer. And then you have three card slots in front of it. The bottom one here is your clear ID window. You have a pen elastic here. Three more card slots there and a zipper pouch. On the opposite side, you have three more card slots. Almost seems like they could have put a vertical card slot in on the sides there, not that you necessarily need more card slots, but anyway. And then on the opposite side, you have more. This one has an extra row compared to the other. So you have your big slip, and then you have two card slots, two card slots, two card slots with the clarity on top. So this side you have the three gray, gray trim rows, so three sections, and then on the other side you just actually have two. So this one has an extra row. There you go. And where's my phone? Not on the table. Okay, never mind. But I'm pretty sure it fits in there. So here is the removable, adjustable, crossbody, or I guess you could use it as a belt bag too, hang it from as a belt, um, or shoulder strap. And then more cards. And this is just a big compartment, so probably that's where I would put my phone. And I'm guessing that's what it's intended for because look, it has these big space at the bottom there, so if you put coins or something in there, mm, that's gonna come right out, definitely. So I think that's probably meant for bigger things like a phone. So it's kind of an all-in-one, just like crossbody kind of thing. And once you take the straps out, guess what? It does lay flat, actually. It's symmetrical width and depth, whatever. Okay, so I'll put that aside and play with it later. Yay, finally arrived. Thank you, Lug. Okay. Now, the rest of this, two big boxes, see? Well, not huge, but pretty good size and they're full. This is my Jujube warehouse sale orders three and four. Not in that order though, because they were placed before and the fourth one came before the second and third, but in any case, these are the last two that I've been waiting for. And I've been really, really excited. Speaking of Jujube, today, at 9 a.m., they released Chromatics 4.0, which is an indigo, which is a beautiful navy. And they released a lilac, which is a very light, faint, pale, pastel -y purple. And I, of course, wanted the lilac B set. I actually was going to get both B sets. Um, I might still get the indigo one, but honestly, I have so many of them. I'm trying to be smarter, so I might not. But... The purple one was sold out, so check this out. I was getting on a plane, um, and I would be midair between Milwaukee and Denver, of course, when the release time hit. And by the time I landed and immediately got on GGB, it was already sold out. So within the first couple hours, it was gone, gone, gone. All the small retailers gone. There was no B sets to be had in the lilacs. So GGB, please, please, please restock it. Ah, because there's a lot of us that didn't get it. And if you are one of those people who bought multiple sets, shame on you, because come on. Some of us didn't get any. <laughs> All right, let's open the box. Okay. Yes. This is my mostly Team Toki. So it just so happens this week is Air Force Trials for the Warrior Games. It's all virtual and I've been trying to do it remotely because everybody's remote anyways, but we shall see. And if that goes well, who knows? 
um, then I get to go to the Warner Games in September and a lot of other sports in between. So let's see. This is the Be Quick in the Team Toki print. This is an athletic type print. It's like downtown Tokyo. You can see the Japanese themed things in there and all the normal Tokidoki characters and all of that. It's really pretty. I think this was sort of set to come out for the Olympics and the Olympics of course got delayed because of COVID. Um, but they still came out with the print, which I think is really great. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. There's the panda, there's my sports basketball, there's Donatella. Anyway, I'll look at this some more because there's tons and tons to see every time you look at it. Also, they have um, zipper pulls that were a variety of them for the different sports and whatnot. This one, I got Donatella, who's playing tennis. Actually, I really like Donatella, so that's cool. Yay, awesome. Okay, so that's the first item. Second item is the Beef Dapper. I don't have a lot of these. I have, for sure I have one in Amour de Fleur, which is the Disney print. And that might be the only one I have, actually. Might, might be the only one. But now I have two for sure. And I got this in the Team Toki as well. And this one has, oh, it has a boring zipper pull. On the main pocket, it's just the circle with the Tokidoki symbol. And on the back, it says Tokidoki and Jujubee. But on the front pocket, I got Chow Chow, the gymnast. Oh, sorry, here we go. See, she's, she's got the splits and she's standing like on her hands. It's not quite the splits, but she's, she's upside down. Cool. Um, and the, the dapper has this front pocket, which is just a straight pocket. It's not very tall. I'm trying to open this up, it's all folded. It's about, you know, from the table to here. So it's a couple inches tall. And it's just a flat pocket, but it's plenty accessible. And then the main pocket, this is a, a rectangular cube, so there's the base of it. It's kind of like a supersized jib for you lug nuts out there. Um, and, you know, Vera really doesn't have a comparable piece to this. So there you go. That's why you got to go cross brand. You could fill every niche you could possibly imagine that you didn't even know you had or wanted or needed. But yeah, so this is just more of the pattern with different parts of the sports. <laughs> cool, okay, we'll, we'll talk more about that. Ooh, I got two blind boxes for more of the sporty zipper pulls because those are change, changeable, you can change them out. We'll come back to those at the end. Um, let's go with Team Toki first. The next thing I got, what did I get? Oh my goodness. Oh. This is a Super B, which is the large totes. Um, I do have the B moved, which is the insert, the organizer or whatever. Um, but this is gonna give us the best look at the pattern. Um, I couldn't remember if I ordered this or not. Here's the back of it, and look at all the sports. So it is a repeating pattern. And you can kind of see that there, because like basically if I folded this in half, that's the pattern, and that's the pattern again. So it is a repeating pattern. There you go, kind of geometric in that way. But vertically, it looks like it's got a lot more to it. So it's kind of vertical panels. Let me see if I can see it. Where the repeating starts on here. You cannot tell because, yeah. I mean, there's pandas there. And there's pandas there, but they're, they're a split panel. Okay, so this back pocket is a big pocket as well. It's a snap in the middle. You can fit, you know, two large set pieces in here for sure, standing up on their sides. And, or you can open it up, use it for a lot of different things. It has regular handles. They have ever so slight amount of padding in there, kind of like a quilting between the layers. It's very thin and there's no um, quilting out through the handle, just the outer edges are sewn together. The top is a zipper closure, and it does have these loops on the end. So if you're like me and you like to carry things crossbody, or at least have that option, or you like to hook things onto your bag, this loop is a great place to do that. You can hook like one of those quick release rings that you can buy on Amazon or borrow them from some of your other bags. And you can hook those on there and then hook a crossbody strap on as well. And I think, I don't know if it's in this order, I think I actually bought the separate crossbody strap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, but it might be in a different order. Anyway, 
Okay, so this zipper pull is Kickstar, which is a unicorno playing soccer. And I might have to hope for one of those in my blind boxes because one of my best friends is a green fan and a soccer fanatic. So this would be perfect for her. Maybe I'll just make her a little keychain out of that regardless. There you go, shh, don't tell. All right, and on the front of the bag, you have also three pockets here. You have a slip pocket on this side, goes all the way to the bottom. And you have same on the opposite side. This middle section is actually a zipper pocket. It is not quite as big. It only goes down to right there. That is a perfect place to put like your phone or your keys or maybe your small wallet. And there you go. Yeah, so it's nice. But you open up this middle main section and inside you have two big mesh elastics. On the opposite side, you have a zipper privacy pocket. And on the side side, you have a leash. It's not bungee, but straight up and it has a clip on it as well. So there you go. And the base of the bag, it's not as wide this way as you might think for a bag of its size, but there you go, there's the size of it. And it does bulge out, like so if you stuff this up, you know, look at it from the side, you can really stuff it and really fill it with stuff. Oops, okay. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is another new to me bag style. This is the Superstar, which is a duffel. It's a duffel bag, and I got it to be my new gym bag. Well, I have plenty of gym bags, but but this one is, you know, it's waterproof, it's machine washable, and so if, if I'm doing sports and stuff out and away from home, which COVID will end eventually, and we'll get back to life again, so I can take it to go play open gym volleyball or whatever as able. Hang on. It's really well wrapped. Okay, so the superstar. Superstar, you know, superstar. Molly Shannon, I think her name is, Saturday Night Live. Okay, so opens his knee. All right, so this is a top panel opening. So there's your top panel. It is a double zipper, and this has those round Toki Doki Jujube zipper pulls. Nice smooth zippers. Single layer of, uh, well, it's two-sided, but single layer. There's your interior of the pattern and your trim on the Team Toki. And then inside, it's just, wow, it's quite large. It's, it's very thin and flimsy, but actually that's what I like about it, because I have, you know, very structured gym bags like this. And so this just gives me another option, which is great. And it's so much lighter weight. I mean, this is super lightweight. Yeah, okay. So you got your big opening, you got your two straps that you can carry by handle, or you can easily put it on your shoulders, or sometimes I like to carry my gym bag like this, or my duffels as a backpack. Like maybe it's a little heavier, you have your hands full. So you can keep it on there and it's not constantly falling off. Anyways, that's another option. This fits very nicely. Okay, big pocket on the back. It has two snaps. So the back panel is one big pocket um, with two snaps to hold that flap up there, which could, I guess, kind of sort of give you three sections, depending on how you, you know, pack it with pouches or something. And on the front of the bag, you have, I'm just checking as I go because I've never seen it. You have a Donatella playing tennis with a zipper pocket. And it's a small pocket, but I think it's big enough for a phone. So there you go. Now, there's one other pocket on the side of this version. I don't know if all the superstars had that, but this version certainly does. And that is, you have a side pocket. This one has, again, the round zipper pulls, the boring ones, that's okay. But this little pocket is like your shoe compartment, or maybe your dirty clothes, or, you know, whatever. But it, it's quite large. It definitely would fit my big old honking shoes. Um, but inside, that is shared space, of course. 
with the interior of the bag. So if you look, you can see that trimmed area there where that goes in. When you're not using it, it can just be pushed all the way over to the side and you can use the full interior of the bag to its capacity. So it gives you some options there. Um, yeah, the only thing of note on a bag like this with this type of opening, um, if you are storing your shoes in there and you have the bag pretty full and you take your shoes out and you wanna put something back in, it's kind of a pain because all that stuff is pressed down on that pocket and now it's been squashed. So you kind of have to force it back in there. So um, that's just a lesson learned from previous experiences with similar stuff. I really like that. I'm glad I got that. Okay, I think, well, that's it for that. So now let's shift gears to Disney. Man, the, the warehouse sale, there was some really good deals. And I, I couldn't tell you what I paid for what. I don't have any of that in front of me because it's not on there. But I have the information, but not here in front of me. So this is the Be Cool. And this pattern is Amour de Fleur, which is the Disney pattern with Mickey and Minnie. So all these little teal silhouettes are Mickeys and Minnies in different positions. And the two zipper pulls here, and this is so cute. There's so many hidden, you know, I love the hidden secret stuff. So Minnie and Mickey right here, they face each other. And so when you put them right by each other, I'm gonna try and get closer so you can see this. Um, at first when I saw this, I thought, oh, they're facing each other so they could be like kissing. Oh, so cute. It's even cuter and even more detailed. If you look really closely at them, you see how their hands, they put them together and they make a little heart, like the hand heart thing. Oh, that's so cute. All right. Um, also, another hidden secret in this pattern is, okay, so you have these flowers and whatnot, but you also have these greeny parts. So look right here, I actually have the Mickey head that's hidden in there. So you have this circle right here, you can kind of see. And then you have an earlobe here and an earlobe right here. So there you have a hidden Mickey head right in the pattern. So I'm super excited that that did show up on here because even though it's not centered and perfect, I know what that is and I'm super, super happy. I just love Mickey. All right, now the Be Cool is a insulated bag. It's like a small cooler bag. I guess a bottle bag or whatever. I don't have babies. I don't care. Uh, but I do live in the desert and I like to keep things cool. Hey, what you doing? Water or, you know, maybe you're going to run out for the day and got to take snacks. You're going to be running around all the time and you want to stay healthy. Um, or you just don't want to burn your mouth on your water bottle and put it in something a little more insulated. All right. But this has a double zipper entry and it is a flat top. It opens. You can see there the insulation. It's a very smooth plastic with um, like a padded thing in there. So you don't have to use it as an insulated pouch, of course. You can just use it as a pouch, like an organizer inside another bag, or you can use the little nylon adjustable removable crossbody strap, and you can basically make this a purse if you want, um, which is kind of what I thought I might do. Um, this is my second one. I, I don't want to tell it could be bakery, I think. But anyway, it has this, it looks like a V shape, but it's actually just the shape right here and it's a slip pocket. So you can put things in there. I think, I think my, I should have grabbed my phone, sorry. I usually have it right here. But um, I think my phone will fit in there sideways. And then inside there's no pockets or anything. It's just a big compartment, but I don't think it needs any pockets. If you're gonna use pouches and, and things and just carry a minimal wallet, so you have your loops on the side, so you can hook whatever strap you want, um, or you can hook it onto your stroller, use like stroller straps or anything like that as well. Okay, so yay. So that I think closes out my Disney stuff. Oh no, there's one more thing probably in the other box. Different Disney, Nightmare Before Christmas. This one is a B set. This is a black and white style pattern, and I, I like the night, well, I love anything Disney, honestly. I'll just be, be honest. Um, but this one isn't one that was always, at any time, one of my favorites. I didn't grow up with it, it came much later. And I, I mean, it's fun and it's cute and whatever, and I do love the haunted house, it kind of crosses over. I know I'm just rambling now about it. But I do love black and whites. And so I did have to get a couple of items to make that work. <laughs> So I got the black and whites and I got the B set so I can get 
you know, more pouches and the black and whites. And I do like it. Actually, I like it a lot better in person. So much detail in the little bitty pieces and parts on here, like all around here. It's not gobbly, look. There's a, yeah, that's cool. But the other reason I got it is, look at the inside. Bam! Purple! Yay! And, um, and then it has that like weird striping. Um, it's like yellow and black. And I, I think it's actually a snake. When you look at that, you can see like the snake chasing its tail. So anyways, but it's vivid purple. I love this royal purple. This is my favorite color purple. So yay. All right, long strap, short strap, and it has black hardware and all around black hardware. The zipper pulls on here are a couple different ones. I think that, is that Jack's head? I don't know, but skeleton head. I think it's Jack. And then this one is the, I don't know her name. This, again, this isn't my, this is not my bag, baby. But anyway, another zipper pull. And these ones are not changeable. I mean, you can change anything, but these ones are not set up to be changeable, nor do they sell blind bags. But there's your medium set piece. And of course, inside of that, you have your small set piece. Um, normally, the set pieces, the biggest one has the nameplate here. This one's sewn on, that's fine. Usually the medium one also has that, but in this case, it's on the side like the small set piece is always. So that's interesting. Just interesting, nothing good or bad about it, just a note. I see it, I see it. Okay, so straps inside and let's put the tag inside too. Okay. So, another set piece. And I got the quick, which is the same as the pouches that you just saw, except that it's bigger, so it's like the fourth size of pouches. I know I always talk about this when I get them back to back, but, so here's the large set piece again, and hold it up next to the Be Quick. You can see it's wider and taller, and I would say about the same depth, roughly. But this one also comes with two straps. You got your short strap, long strap, also black hardware. This one has the jack head on it. And then the same inside, there's a large strap. The only other difference is the Quick has a zipper pocket inside of it as well. So you can see that on the back wall there. Um, yeah. Um, also, it's only one zipper, not the double zipper as well. Okay, so the last item for this box is the midi in Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, so this one, I do love the middies. Um, a purse backpack or a park bag, you know, if you're just going for a light day, but it's waterproof, so it's a great option. And I am going to Orlando next month. Now, a very short trip and probably going to Universal, so I'll take Harry Potter, but I will be back in Orlando in September, so probably all of it's coming with me. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to choose. All right, but the midi. There goes your pretty purple inside again. This is just a big pocket. It does have its own gusset, about two fingers thick, all the way around, which is nice. It has these nice, generous cargo pockets on the side, and they do have this extra elastic on the front and the back, both sides, so you can put water bottle, umbrella, whatever in those, and they, they fit really well. On the back here, you have your seatbelt strap folded in half and sewn together as your top carry. And then you just have the basic seatbelt straps, but they are contained. They're not the loose ended straps. So hang on, let me cut this off here, I'll show you. So you don't have to worry about your snap insulation or other hardware to keep the strap from auto loosening. They just have the loop on the bottom and then the adjustable thing here to slide it out. So no padding or mesh or anything on the bag or the straps, but, but there you go. So, Nightmare Before Christmas. And actually, um, I'm just looking at pattern placement. This guy is almost centered, so that's kind of cool. I mean, it's all kind of cattywampus, but it's, it's not bad. There's only one, one big thing cut off, and it's this big ghosty that I already have there and here. So not too bad. I mean, it is a geometric pattern and whatever. It looks fine. Okay, we'll save the uh, blind boxes to the end. Oops. No sharp stuff. One more box. Same size. Yay! This is 
so much fun to come home to stuff like this. And way better than coming home from the hospital, too, let me tell you. Okay. Got an inventory thing. Aha! I was, I was right about all the things I said so far. <laughs> all right. So this is a Be Cool again. So this is the same that we just saw, but this one is in the Team Toki print. So now I have three of them and that is all I'm getting. I'm not gonna be stocking up on Be Cools. I didn't think I would get three to tell you the truth, but there you go. Oh, and I'm super excited because the Be Cool has mozzarella playing volleyball. So yay. So my sports, by the way, growing up, I played volleyball, basketball, softball, and I swam for one year. I like all sports, but those were my sports that I lettered in. And in college, I played basketball and softball, fast pitch. Back in the Air Force after that, I played volleyball, basketball, softball all year round. Um, but there's, there's volleyball right in the middle. Bam. And let's see what else we have our, uh, well, there's baseball, but I'm going to call it softball right down here. And there's the basketball panda, not on that panel. But right there on the side so I got at least the minimums for that and swimming or water polo at least is right there in the front I don't know if there is it's just swimming swimming hmm anyway fun fun and the inside of this in case you're wondering is exactly the same as the other just the silver plastic insulated layer okay <laughs> I'm going to show up at this Air Force Sports thing, I hope, <laughs> with all this decked out in Team Toki. That's going to be fun. That makes the decisions easy, I'll tell you that. Okay, so I like a large purse. I mean, you know, if you're going to carry stuff, you might as well carry a lot of stuff. I don't know. That sounds uh, weird. But anyway, um, I like the Hobo Bee. I have several of them now. I, it's like the large on the go, or it's kind of in between the on the go and large on the go from Vera. But it's a nice bag, and this is in a mortar floor. So just looking at it, I don't see, I don't see the hidden Mickey head popping out at me. It doesn't mean it's not there. And I also don't see it on the front, but the front panel is a little more choppy. So here's the other zipper pulls that come with the Amour de Fleur. You have the Mickey heads with all the flowers inside of it. And that's both the main zipper and the front pocket on this one. So none of the Mickey mini ones that we saw already. But this bag does have end pockets and just like the midi, they have that extra elastic on them. The front pocket here is two zippers. So you have the main zipper pocket. Right down the middle, you have your key bungee. It is elasticized with a clip on the end. You have two mesh elastic pockets and you have a zipper pocket behind that. The only thing that I know already I don't like about this bag is if you're gonna use that zipper pocket, you're constantly having to move this thing out of the way. So even though the middle is a good place to have it for other reasons, I personally would want it over to the side or have the zipper above it so that it's not in the way of the, I just I don't like to have to move things to get to other things, that's just my thing. Uh, but this pocket does have its own gusset. You can kind of see that right here. It's that section all the way across. So it has space for pouches or whatnot. And then right behind that zipper with the big zipper pull, you have this other small zipper pull. And this is a soft line pocket, which is basically like a horizontal phone pocket. It does go all the way to the bottom though, but it's not tall enough to stand my phone up. But there you go. On the back side, you have a snap we have a nice big slip cry baby. I know. What's all this going on, huh? It's getting to be time for a DIN and the other one. <laughs> I know. It's just so funny. Okay, but this one comes with a changing mat. It is not a pad, it's just a mat. But there's your pattern and which way is upright? This way is upright. There's a Mickey head right here. Big old circle. There's an ear and there's an ear. Once you see it, you can't unsee it, right? Okay, so there's that. And then the interior pattern is on the back side, which is your floral thing with Mickey heads in the shape, flowers in the shape of Mickey heads. Okay, oh, anyway. All right, so inside the bag, you have a removable, adjustable crossbody strap. This is an upgrade to the previous Hobo V that I got. 
where I had the regular hobo bee strap that I had to remove so that I could put a longer strap on it. It's nice that they now come that way already because this strap is to me better because it's, it goes out a little longer and it's easier to adjust versus the two-sided cup. Um, also, if you don't like the pad on there, you can remove that off of this strap. The other one, you really have a hard time doing that. Um, but yeah, so there you go. But it is a nylon seat belty kind of strap. So for me, on a bag that I know I'm gonna weigh down a bit and it's gonna be pulling, I definitely will leave the pad on so that that seat belt strap doesn't cut into my neck right there. Just from experience, I'll tell you that. Uh, but inside, great amount of organization. You have an elastic mesh bag or pocket there. You have a zipper pocket for the other half. On the opposite side, here, let me just throw that inside. You got two more mesh pockets, and behind that, you have a big zipper that goes all the way across. So, definitely some versatility to you. Ah, and another hobo bee for the collection. All right. When I brought out the Superstar and I was looking in the box to see if I bought the strap because I thought I remembered that I did because not all bags that can use the crossbody strap come with it. So I thought I better get the strap because I have the Super B which has already, where'd it go? It has already the loops on there for that but it does not come with one. I don't know why because that seems really obvious. But then you have like the Super B that I can just self-modify, put that ring in there and then add this. And now I have that crossbody adjustable strap as well. So this crossbody strap is different than the Amour de Fleur because this one, the strap itself is made from that Jujube material, not the seat belt strap. I gotta be honest, I do, generally speaking, I think I like this better. It's robust and it's colorful and I already bought the woven straps, so I might even use a woven strap with some of this anyway, but, um, so I already have the woven option, so I kinda wanted the colorful pattern matching option. So I got that. Anyways, that's going straight on to the Superstar. And the last item for this haul, before we get into the zipper pulls there, is another midi. And this is another black and white pattern. This is called Sketch, and, um, Okay, so here's the thing about Sketch. It's black and white, I love black and white. Anything black and white to me is a mixy matchy kind of thing. All the black and whites from all the different brands can all coordinate pretty much across the board um, depending on what you're dealing with them. But this pattern did not particularly strike me um, as something that I wanted a bunch of bags in. Just because one, uh, if y'all know me at all, <laughs> I do not do white backgrounds, um, rarely if ever. But this is wipeable, washable, stain resistant, Teflon treated, waterproof. I figured that if anything can make it in my world that's white, this could. And again, I'm not going deep into it, but it was such a great price that I thought I might as well get a midi. I have only the B set in this pattern and that is perfect. But the other thing I was thinking, and uh, I did not grab them right now, but I bought a set of eight Sharpies um, permanent markers because I thought okay it's black and white I like that it's black and white and it's fine just like it is so it's not a hit on Jujube at all but every time I see this I think I kind of like to color it <laughs> maybe it's just me it's not just me because I asked the question on the Jujube page and a lot of people were like yeah me too and then people posted pictures of them who had actually done it so it's not just me but but I do, I look at this, I think it's beautiful just like it is. It really is. It's it's very, it's pretty. But I just keep thinking, man, I would kind of like to color it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I ever will, but I have the markers. And then someone suggested that I do fabric markers specifically so that they might last longer in the wash. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to color it, but there you go. So this mini is the same as the other one we just saw. Both of them are black and whites. In fact, if you want to see side by side, there you go. So one's black with white and one's white with black. It's almost more of a grayish, but anyways. So I still think those coordinate and I would cross match the pouches together for sure. So last but not least, let's open these blind boxes or these zipper pulls and see what sporty things that we got. Let's go. 
Tokidoki zipper pulls. The chances, okay, so hang on, I'll tell you what they are. There are three, seven, nine different ones you can get. And it's, here, I'll look at them at the same time. So you're looking here, you got Biscotti and Water Polo, Donatino playing baseball, Mozzarella playing volleyball, Surf Star, we already saw, the Surfboard, Donatella playing tennis, we saw, Kickstar, Unicorno playing soccer, Sandy with the ribbon gymnastics, Super Panda playing basketball, and Chow Chow is the gymnast down there in pink. So the bottom two, the Panda and Chow Chow, are chasers. I don't know what that exactly means, like what's a chaser, but I gather that that means those are the rare ones. But anyway, okay, so we got six zipper pulls with nine things to get, but we also got a bunch of zipper pulls on us, myriad of Team Toki bags, because these are the Team Toki pulls. So I might already have a good chance of getting all of them, which would be awesome. All right, so let's leave this out and we'll see. So we've got mozzarella. We've got, wait, do we have Super Panda on the pools? I don't even remember now. Okay, doesn't matter. We're going to see. So I really kind of like Sandy. I know we have Donatella. I like Sandy and Super Panda for sure. And Donatino. So those are my top three. We've got six chances to get them. And we got Surf Star, which is, hey, I'm a California girl, and that's fine. Okay, so that's one. Number two, we got, we got Donatello playing tennis, which we already have, but that's cool. I like Donatello. And the other thing is, because these zipper pulls are interchangeable, you can change them up and pair them up. Like on the same bag, you can put different ones or same ones or uh, make a pair of earrings out of them or make bag charms, which I'm totally going to do, uh, especially if I keep getting repeats like this because I have at least three or four Donatella tennis rackets now between all the bags. I forget which one was on which one, but it's all good. Let's see. I'd really like a Donatino and a Super Panda. Woo -hoo! We got a Chaser Panda. This was my primary sport going into college. That was how I paid for college, actually. So there you go. I'm glad I got the panda. Super panda. Super duper. Okay, two more. I'd like a Sandy, please. I got Surf Star again. So Surf Star is a unicorn. No, uh, no sorry. It's a mermicorn. So it's a mermaid unicorn surfer. So now I have two of those. And I'd quite like a Sandy, please, or Donatino. I don't know. No, but I'll take another panda. Whoop, whoop. All right. So I've got I've got basketball earrings, maybe. I would totally wear those. Look how cute. It would even match my outfit, black and white. All right. So that is what we got. We got two surf stars, two tennis. And two pandas. Well, isn't that interesting? So we basically got two of the exact same boxes. I kind of hate that. I think the boxes should be more random. But anyway, there you go. At least they're good ones. That's it for this one. More to come. Bye for now.